Hi, and welcome to Kentucky Youth Advocates 2022 Judicial Election Voter Toolkit. Now, before we get started, I think it's important to explain why we decided to develop this. And that is because kids can't decide which judge will hear their case, but you, the voters, can ensure that every judge puts kids first when you vote. And we decided to create this voter toolkit to equip you to know how the judicial system works, what a judge is, and how to talk to candidates before you even head to the polls. So let's start with getting to know the courts. What is Kentucky's court structure? If you look on the bottom left, you will see district court. This is the lowest courts in Kentucky, and there are courts of limited jurisdiction that handle small claims, traffic offenses, and misdemeanor cases consisting of 115 judges in 60 districts. Right above it is circuit court. These are courts of general jurisdiction that handle felonies, civil claims of more than $5,000, and contested probate cases consisting of 95 judges in 57 circuits. Parallel to that is family court. These are courts that handle family matters, such as divorce, child custody, juvenile cases, and domestic violence consisting of 55 judges on just 35 family courts. Right above that is the Court of Appeals. This is the court that hears petitions from lower courts, which means whenever there's appeal coming from district, circuit, or family, the Court of Appeals retries that case. And this consists of 14 judges. And then finally, at the very top is the Kentucky Supreme Court. This is Kentucky's court of last resort and final arbiter of the law consisting of seven justices, one of which is the chief justice who is selected by his or her peers. Where are Kentucky's circuit courts? There are 57 judicial circuits in Kentucky. Some circuits consist of multiple counties and others are limited to just one county. So if you look on this map, you can find your judicial circuit. Where are Kentucky's family courts? With 120 counties in Kentucky and only 35 family courts, not every Kentucky county has a family court. So in jurisdictions without a family court, a district court judge will step in and fulfill that role and hear cases that deal with family matters. So if you look on this map, the gray counties don't have a family court and the colorful highlighted ones, that's where you can find the 35 family courts in Kentucky. Where are Kentucky's district courts? So this is pretty similar to circuit courts. There are 60 judicial circuits in Kentucky and some districts consist of multiple counties and others are limited to just one county. So again, you can look at this map and find your judicial district. What is a judge? So there's lots of misconceptions about what a judge is, what a judge isn't. So we're clearing that up right here. What a judge is, is a courtroom umpire that ensures the procedures of the law are followed. A judge is also an interpreter of the law and a follower of state and federal law. A judge is also the finder of fact in cases without a jury. So that means that judges get to decide guilt or innocence in cases where a jury isn't present. And those trials are called bench trials. A judge is also an authority over what is in the best interest of a child in juvenile court and a mediator between two adversarial parties. Now, what a judge is not is a political figure. A judge is also not the finder of fact in cases with a jury. So when there is a jury trial, the decision of guilt or innocence, that's left to the jury, not to the judge. And a judge is also not an adversarial agent. Like I said before, a judge is simply a mediator. So who can become a judge in Kentucky? Well, first you must be a US citizen. You must also be a resident of Kentucky and the district from which you are elected for two years. You must also be a licensed to practice law in Kentucky. And finally, you must be a licensed attorney for eight years prior to running for most judicial positions, but for, ju for just district court, you only need to be licensed for two years prior to running. How are judges selected in Kentucky? Kentucky judges are selected in nonpartisan elections. This means that they are elected by the people without their political affiliations listed on the ballot. So when you're voting for a judge, it says their name and it does not say like Democrat, Republican, independent next to it. So it's really important to know which judicial candidates align with your values before you head to the polls. 
are all Kentucky judicial elections the same? For the most part, yes. If you look on this chart, you will see that all judges in Kentucky are selected through nonpartisan elections. And for the most part, their terms are the same too, which is eight years. But of course that differs in district court where the term is only four years. Preparing to meet with judicial candidates. So before going to meet with a candidate, you should think about what you're gonna ask them before you get there. So consider asking, one, why do you believe you're qualified for this position? This allows the candidate to talk about their educational background, their experiences in the courtroom and experiences outside of the courtroom that they believe qualify them. Two, consider asking, how would you use your role to benefit Kentucky families? Three, consider asking, what changes to the Kentucky judicial system, if any, do you hope to make with this platform? And finally, how would you prioritize kids? Now, what to expect when meeting a newly elected judge? These are things that you should not ask a judge. Don't ask the judge to speak about court cases, which you may be a party in. Don't ask the judge to give details about specific cases. And finally, don't ask the judge to speak on political controversies irrelevant to their duties as a judge, because as we stated before, judges are not political figures and they shouldn't be treated as such. Now, how to communicate the role of advocates to a newly elected judge. Begin by telling the judge about your duty as an advocate to promote what is in the best interest of children in all circumstances. And also tell the judge about why you choose to be an advocate and why that role is meaningful to you, so that the judge understands the importance of advocates throughout the judicial system. As always, stay, con stay connected with Kentucky Youth Advocates Sign up for our emails, read our blogs, follow us on social media, and I'm sure you will see us around. Thank you so much.